Hello, good morning, everyone.、Uh, welcome back to Kenya Live Broadcast, and I'm your host Sam. And today, according to the coronavirus issue in,、uh, I mean, all around the world, well,、uh, our PM in another country,、uh, sorry, in another city in Taiwan that、uh, couldn't be here today. So we will have a, a video call broadcast. And、uh, our PM today is Yi Zhong. Hi. Yeah, and today the topic will be the video station 5.5 version. So uh, uh, we will skip the rest of the introduction, and we will just directly go into the slides. And Yi Zhong will make the full introduction to the newer version video station. Please. Okay. So、uh, today I would like to bring everyone the、uh, video station video station 5.5. In this version, we have、uh, redesigned the UI interface, so you will、uh, experience a new look of the video station. And、um, in the, today's、uh, in today's introduction, I will separate it to、um, several questions that、uh, we usually be asked, like、uh, why do you need video station and how to start to use、uh, video station and、uh, How should I organize the,、uh, my video if I got some movies, TV shows, or classic film series? And can video station let me organize、uh, my video on my divan, or、uh, where can I watch my videos with video stations? So that's the、uh, some questions, and I will answer that、uh, one by one. So the first question is why do you need video station 5.5?、Uh, for those folks who haven't started started to use、uh, video station yet,、uh, video station is a video management application that would that could help you to manage and organize your videos in your hard drives or NAS, so you don't have to、uh, to to search your video. Or movies you like in the,、um, a bunch of folders, you can just click it on the UI in the、uh, video station. And for those who has already using、uh, using video station for several years,、uh, the user interface with the modern、uh, modern design. So update your video station now and check what's new. So the second question is how to start using video station. The first step you have to do is open Multimedia Console. Multimedia Console is a new application、uh, we support from QDS 4.4.1, and、um, it is the, com- the the main control for all multimedia services in QDS. So the first step, the second have question, to go is to,、uh, multimedia console and see if the multimedia service is enabled. Then you go to、uh, multimedia app suite to、uh, to uh, finish the ins- installation of、uh, video station, and then go to the content management to set the content suite for video station. And the last step, you never. And here's a tip for uh, for uh, our user who has the NAS with Intel or AMD CPUs or TES two two three zero, TES two three two eight, and TES four two eight. For if you have got、uh, a NAS with transcode capability, you can use the background transcoding to make your playback smooth.、Uh, You can、uh, edit. You can still、uh, use the multimedia console and go to the transcoding page and click the setting, and then you can add uh, any uh, folder to、uh, background transcoding、uh, folders. After you add the、uh, add the folder as a、uh, background transcoding folder, we will、uh, transcode the videos in that folder、uh, in the background. So the next time you open that video, you Uh, it is、uh, really smooth. So let's have a live demo. So first, after you in upgrade to QDS 4.4.1, you will see the 
multimedia console on your desktop or your uh, main menu here and you open the uh, multimedia console and you will see in the overview page there is a multimedia service button here and usually if you just you, you've got the new NAS the multimedia services will be disabled so before you start to use uh, video station you have to enable it like this and then you can go to the multimedia app suite. In this page, we have listed uh, all our multimedia services or, or applications in, uh, in QTS. So you, as you can see, you can, you can uh, click video station and we will guide you to the app center and you can finish the download and the installation there. And after you installed video station, you can go back to the content management. Here, uh, in this page, uh, we are going to set a content source for the video station. So you might ask, what is content source? The content source is uh, what, uh, what you can see in the video station. For example, if you, um, if you select a uh, content source for video station and uh, the videos video files in the uh, sample in, in sample folder would be shown in the video station so that's how you can add your, your content to video station and you will see uh, it is in the uh, video station yeah and as we just mentioned that if you've got a nas with transcode uh, capability you can you can set a background transcoding uh, it's, it is also in the multimedia console and you will see a transcoding page here and then you go setting and uh, in background transcoding section you can add a folder you, you like mm -hmm. just choose multimedia for example and choose the output format and click apply so after that we will uh, transcode all videos in uh, in the multimedia folder in the background. So you and uh, next time you click that video, uh, it will be played. It, it can be played back smooth. Yeah. So um, if you got some movies or TV shows, how can you organize them with video station? So first, you of course you go to video station and you go to the setting of the video station, there's a category tab. A uh, category setting tab can uh, um, let you set uh, the folder for each category. And if you got some classic film series you really like, like Star Wars or uh, Harry Potter, um, you can organize with uh, video station too. You just select the photo, uh, select the video, and uh, right click, and there is a uh, copy to collection option to uh, to select, and you can choose a uh, collection or create a new collection, and then the, these videos will be added into the collection. We will do the demo later. And if you have, uh, if you usually tag your videos like. Uh, the by his category or uh, its uh, style, and you can you can also use video station to organize that. You just go to smart collection and create a smart collection with the with the uh, specific search criteria, and then those uh, videos which match the criteria will be collected automatically into the smart collection. So let's see what uh, we can do for these three functions. First, you, of course, you should open the video station. And after upgrading to upgraded to video station 5.5, you can see all the interface, the, all the colors are changed. And the icon will be bigger, so you can uh, see it uh, clearly. And, um, after you open video station, you go to the setting, and here is uh, all category. You can 
uh, you can organize your videos and you can also add a new category like uh, I add an animation category here and uh, you can select uh, any category and use add and then you can add a folder to the category and then you just wait and the, uh, the, the videos in that category would be uh, in the videos in that uh, folder would be added into your uh, the, the category and after that you can just uh, switch here like okay here is a TV shows I I added and here's my movies and here's my animations and I got some karaoke videos here so you can basically uh, organize them very well and if you want to um, add some uh, videos to a, 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 a series you can choose you can choose different uh, you can choose multiple videos and right click them and here's a copy to collection and uh, you can add you can choose a collection you have already created or create a new collection then press ok and you can go to videos collection and you can see the collection you just added yeah. and the other one is smart collections you can add uh, create a, a new collection here like if I want to uh, collect all the videos with uh, with duration under 10 minutes uh, you can see short videos for example short films okay. you can set the duration here uh, I will choose smaller than 10 minutes so and then create and here you will automatically uh, collect all the uh, short films here and if you have if you usually tag your videos like uh, action movie love movie or adventure movies you can also uh, uh, collect them automatically like adventure okay, never mind And create uh, so that you can, as you can see, the videos with uh, tag with the uh, the specific tag will be automatically automatically collected into the into the smart collection. So that's how you can uh, you can organize your videos in video station. So as you can see, the uh, the whole interface are uh, looks different and it looks, it, it looks uh, better actually and uh, you can use the video station to organize your uh, video library and you can choose or find the video you like in video station so uh, where can I watch my videos with video station so should I just stay in, in front of my laptop or a PC to watch those videos of course not we provide a mobile app named QVideo, so you can use it on Android or iOS device and to connect to the video station and you can use the Qt video to watch your video anytime, anywhere. Or you can also install our Q Media. Q Media is a, a streaming multimedia, a, a, a streaming application that you can install on your smart TVs like Apple TV or Fire TV or any Android TV and, and it can also connect to our NAS and you can access the, uh, the video station and stream the uh, video you got and here's one more thing today that uh, we I would like to introduce our new NAS model TS x uh, 31k series it is our new model for uh, home users and uh, it, is, it, it, it equips a quad core processor and we got a four bay model a two bay model and a one bay model and it is uh, quite economic for 
uh, home users and you can use it to back up your files or photos or videos and use the videos station to yeah so that's all what we are going to introduce today okay thank you Izong and let's go back to the sorry let's go back to the light well, so uh, I believe that we have already made the full introduction of the video station newer version and uh, the newer version will be coming up soon. So uh, maybe in half to one month, you can have the newly updated video station and please just update that and try it. And if you like our video today, you can join our, uh, you can subscribe our uh, Facebook channel. And if you want to look for uh, more videos, you can go to live.qnap.com and search the, any uh, products or the software that you want to know more. And thank you, Izong, for, uh, for, the, for the live today. And we will see you next time on QNAP Podcast. Bye.